Hey y'all, I'll be talking to you about barnacles today, a protostome belonging to the subclass Cirripedia and order Cecilia. These critters are found in shallow waters and have three major life cycles, the first two being free-floating larval stages, and the third is a kind of stuck-in-one-spot-for-the-rest-of-my-life kind of stage. To attract new partners, these mature barnacles secrete compounds to draw larvae close to them, kind of like that old pervert luring kids to his shady white van. Now to discuss barnacle sex. You see, barnacles happen to have the longest penis in proportion to its body size than any other animal. They're also hermaphrodites, meaning they have both male and female parts, you know, in case they get lonely. Attracting a potential mate can be very complex for barnacles since they're extremely particular. Nah, just kidding. Barnacles have sex with anything they can get their hands, I mean, penis on. They're pretty much stuck in one spot, remember? This also explains why they have such strong, stretchable penises, and why it can maneuver kind of like a little penis arm. Oh, what's that? A little too much on the penis? Ahem, <clears throat> sorry. The ramrod can also be used indirectly by releasing sperm into the water in a method called sperm casting, kind of like a little penis hose, which floats through the water to fertilize a female's egg. Once mating season's over, the ramrod is ejected and thrown away, kind of like a pipette tip. Don't worry, a new one will grow back next year. <laughs>